All right, well, I'm still working with this uh, pulse motor that's used in the bottom of a water bottle. Plastic water bottle is the rotor. And I 3D printed at least part of the frame for it at a PLA plastic to try out the crazy glue and toothpick bearing. And uh, this is coming together pretty nice. I, I like what I'm seeing here. And the combination of the crazy glue and the graphite makes for a pretty darn good bearing surface. And then you just lubricate both surfaces um, with the pencil that you don't have to use oil. And I'm finding that this is one of the big problems with my long running motors is the bearings dry out from oil or get dirt in them. And they stop, stop the motor. You use graphite, you don't have the problem with the oil. So anyway, this is running on uh, just solar light in my kitchen coming from a window. But I found something other, something else interesting I thought I'd show. See this, uh, this is a reed switch driver, works over a reed switch and a coil of wire. If I put this up here next to this, now what's happening here is it's pulling the magnets this way and then this one here is shoving it that way and so the thing goes round and round but also that reed switch usually is a bugaboo because it attracts the magnet but in this case because it's attracting it it's pulling the magnet this way when the thing fires the electromagnet shoves it that way this thing here goes off and shoves it around again and that worked really, really good. And I thought that was a fascinating thing to share is you're taking advantage of the attraction going toward that reed switch. The reed switch fires off the coil. Coil gives it a shove that way. This thing here fires off and around and around we go. And that was a pretty neat find. Anyway, that's the latest with this little project. Thanks for watching.